My lab has uh, worked on DNA methylation, which is a modification of DNA, and it creates a fifth base. Everyone's familiar with the four bases in DNA. There is a fifth. What we need to know about uh, a phenomenon like that, it's an actor, if you like, in search of a play, what one needs to know is where it is and how it's read. And we found ways of mapping where it was, and in the process we found a pattern uh, of uh, methylated DNA and non-methylated DNA. And those two sorts of DNA, it turns out, are read by proteins that recognize either one or the other and create either a gene expression unfriendly environment uh, around the methylated DNA or a gene expression friendly environment around the unmethylated DNA. Now it turns out one of the proteins that uh, we found which binds to methylated DNA and creates the frosty environment for gene expression uh, is mutated in a human autism spectrum disorder uh, called Rett syndrome. And that's given us uh, an additional reason to be interested in other than the blue skies reason. Uh, and um, uh, we've created a, uh, an animal model of that disorder and critically we showed that if you put the gene back in uh, mice that imitate the human condition, after they have become sick, they get better again, uh, which was a result that no one really expected. It was assumed that once you get ill with a brain disease, it's irrevocable. And so that creates the possibility that one will be able to generate a therapy for this disease, and I'd like to think we could do that. <laughs>